Hello, my friends. I'm about to take you on a very strange journey. Almost as strange as my new glasses. Aren't they crazy? I've never worn anything so big and bold. I haven't worn them out of the house, actually. So, anyway. Um, today's video is not really a lesson in anything. If anything, it's a lesson on what not to do. But I just kind of have fun trying something that was a complete fail. But um, I thought you might enjoy watching the process. They're not all winners, and certainly this one wasn't. So, But it ended up okay, I think. Let me know what you think. And let's just get to it. Hello, my friends. I'm about to do something kind of crazy. I have a pour here, an embellishment, actually, that I did a while ago. And I don't like it. Um, the pour is very dark. It didn't come out like I wanted. I had it sitting around for a long time, and this is the only pretty part right up here where this blue is. I think I used some prism pour paints on this. You could see a shimmer throughout. But anyway, I had an idea to paint a bunch of horses kind of coming out of the mist. And horses are difficult to paint. I, I only tried it once before and it wasn't any good. I don't know why I thought suddenly I could paint five of them <laughs> and they're not good. You really need to know anatomy of horses and study a lifetime to get good at it, I think, and I'm not, um, I haven't done that and I'm not willing to do that. So anyway, I don't like this. So my idea is to put a light swipe over it, the whole thing to make them really more look like they're coming out of the mist. So I have mixed up some Floetrol here with water. And as we know, Floetrol dries pretty clear. And I'm going to pour this on and tilt, tilt, tilt to get a really thin coat of this. And then I'm going to swipe with a white mix. This is uh, glue, paint, and Floetrol, and then a little bit of, uh, oh, 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 that's not good. <laughs> a little bit of um, um, wood conditioner, which I've had sitting around. And I thought maybe I'd try it to kind of mimic the uh, Australian Floetrol. So. That's my plan. Let's see what happens. If it's awful, I can run it outside and hose it off because this has been dry for quite some time and it'll probably be okay, but who cares? I, okay, fingers crossed. Wish me luck. I have experimented on a smaller scale over something, but um, so I think it's gonna be okay, but I, I don't know. I hope I put the Floetrol, not the paint on here. <laughs> no, I'm sure I did. Okay, now I'm going to tilt that a lot. Maybe I just should have started the top and Tilted down, that might have been a good idea. Oh well. Well, this is gonna take a while. You know what, I'm gonna pause and do this off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, well that was not easy. <laughs> I don't know if I didn't have enough on there perhaps, but I, I ended up smushing it around with my hand and then tilting it. And I was skimpy on the top here, so I scraped some up with a palette knife and then smoothed it out. So I don't know. But the area of the horses, it's got a it's very thin there, and that's probably the most important area to be thin. And hmm, let's see what happens. I was thinking of swiping from here down and then here up, but because of the application of the flow trawl, I think I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down. Oh my gosh, here we go. Hold 
that's not too much. I've just got a piece of, um, I just wanted to make one wide swipe. So this is a piece of um, watercolor paper. And here we go. breath. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's the end? There it is. Okay. Well, that was kind of scary. Like how that happened. Should I do it again? I think I will. I'm gonna swipe it again. Are you holding your breath for, with me? <laughs> I am. Okay, well, that's very pretty lacing. Uh, I don't see any horses, but um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna tilt that way, thin out some of this area there. Not a lot on the surface. I mean, I really thinned out the flow trawl layer. And then since I swiped twice, there's not a whole lot to move. I don't know if it's moving at all. I wish this looked more like that, or vice versa. Do I dare t tilt it this way, or should I just swipe again? I'll just swipe again, although I... I'd rather keep the, the movement going this way. If I tilt that way, it'll get all wonky. So I'll just swipe down here. I'm looking for the flattest side. Here we go. Oh, I just put my finger, my index finger in it. Talk on it. I don't know if that's any better. Now we have a stripe there. I think it's a little better. Oh my gosh, what have I done? Okay, folks, well, I'm gonna let this, um, should I swipe it again? <laughs> should I swipe it again? I'm just concerned. I have too much white paint on there. What the heck, this time I'll use the other side of the paper. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, it's starting to warp a little bit. I'll use the beveled edge there.
Where are those stupid horses? Look at that weird stripe I got there, but I'm living with that. Well, you, of course, I'm going to let this dry and show you the final result. I'm not going to leave you, leave you hanging like this. Well, if, um, if the flow trial failed me and it, it doesn't dry clear, um, I can always use this as a background for something. <laughs> On my sample one, I didn't go over and over and over it like I did here, so that probably... That's not a good idea because I probably broke down the white paint and gave more coverage than I meant to. Oh well. If you're watching this, you know, it was good enough to show you. But you may never see this. Okay, my friends, I will show you the dried result if it's worthwhile. Thanks for watching. Okay, my friends, I'm about to take it outside and hose it off because I'm afraid that by swiping it three times, I just spread so much white paint around that um, my, I lost my lacing and um, it's not going to work. But before I take it outside, how about if I hit it with a blow dryer where the horses are? and see what that looks like. It's not doing anything. My other hair dryer. Let's try this one. Spritz it with water. And now maybe the hair dryer.
at my myself. What was I doing? I should have kept it one swipe. Oh. Let's just try this. I'm about to hose it off, so I'm, I'm just trying anything. Anything and everything. Isn't that crazy? They're just completely missing. Yeah, I think at this point I'm just putting a thin coat of white paint all over. So. I think I'm going to take it outside, hose it off, try again with more flow trawl, less paint. Okay, my friends, I'm just laughing at myself. So I took it outside and I hosed it off. But then when it was wet, I kind of, it didn't look that bad to me anymore. I thought, well, maybe with varnish on it, but I'm still bothered by these horses. So then I had the idea of taking some Prism Pour Ultra Metallic and thinning it down and giving a light wash of this beautiful, frostbite color. So that's what I'm going to do. Got this wonderful big brush, a soft um, uh, synthetic sable brush, and here I go. Now this I'm not, I'm not scared to do. Oh, it's pretty blue. I'm not too scared to do it. Oh wow, it's a lot bluer than I Expected. <laughs> I'd be using this off too. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know what if it's going to dry. Um, I mean, it's got some binder in it, you know, which is whitish, and that will dry clear. I don't think it's going to look quite as blue-blue as it does right now. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Several times today, in fact. I don't even mind the blue cast, though. It's certainly prettier than this gray. Again, I'm just going to go very lightly over the whole thing. Get rid of any brush strokes. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably better than my my original idea with the swipe. But I'll take you close, but it, it's not much to look at. I'll let it dry and then um, 
tack something on at the end. A lot of shimmer and sparkle to it now, which is kind of nice. Okay, I'm stopping for now. I'll tack on the dried result at the end. Thanks for watching, my friends.